Hey guys and welcome back to a new video. You wanted a Jetpack Compose Masterclass and you will get a Jetpack Compose Masterclass. So I have just released a brand new course that teaches anyone Jetpack Compose from beginning to end in over 80 video lessons. And in this video I will tell you what this new Masterclass is about, how it's different from my Jetpack Compose YouTube content and what kinds of prerequisites you need in order to take this course. So first of all, why did I actually feel that there is a need for a dedicated premium course about Jetpack Compose? On the one hand, of course, because you told me that you want one. But on the other hand, even though I have lots of Jetpack Compose videos here on my channel, that, that doesn't really take you by the hand to learn that topic. Because in the end, a YouTube tutorial can just teach you a single power of a big technology. So learning about Jetpack Compose here on YouTube is more like learning vocabularies. So what I mean with that is there are videos like, uh, hey, this is how you implement a checkbox in Jetpack Compose. This is how you use a button in Jetpack Compose. Um, this is how you implement swipe to delete in the lazy column. And while these types of videos, of course, help in some way, you can't learn a framework that way. It's really like trying to learn a language by reading a dictionary from A to Z, which will teach you all the words of a language, but not how to really speak it. So what most Jetpack Compose developers are clearly missing is the grammar behind it. If you know the grammar of an actual language really well, well, then you can use a dictionary and actually extend your language speaking skills that way because you intuitively know how to take those new words, those new vocabularies you learn about and integrate that into your existing language speaking skills. And that was exactly the idea behind this Jetpack Compose masterclass because what is clearly missing here on YouTube is what teaches you the grammar of Jetpack Compose. So specifically, the new concepts Jetpack Compose introduces as a framework, but in detail. So if you've never heard about things like constraints, about measurements, how constraints are being passed from modifier to modifier to composables, if you've never heard about the, the three phases of a frame in Jetpack Compose, how you can optimize recompositions with that knowledge, if you've never heard about things like snapshots or the Compose runtime, the slot table mechanism, and that is because you've only spent time learning vocabularies of Jetpack Compose so far. So single UI components and maybe basic parts of the grammar, but you likely skipped very essential parts of it. And you might not even be aware, but that is really the approach of this new Compose Masterclass. So instead of just going over every single little predefined UI component like button, checkboxes, radio buttons and so on, you will get to know those Compose concepts that help you to understand anything new when you encounter that. So after watching this course, you will be able to look at any type of mockup, any type of UI and intuitively know what you have to do in Jetpack Compose to replicate that layout, to make it fully responsive, to make it fully performance optimized and perfectly integrated in your existing architecture. And I think you'll get a better impression of what I really mean with that by going over the 11 sections that you will get with this course. So 11 sections, 81 videos in total. And when I go over that, you'll also notice that this course is completely modular. So some of these sections are more basic, some of these sections are really advanced, but you can really pick what you want to start with. So it's not really like a course where we build a project from A to Z and you just have to start at A and end at Z. No, you can really pick the video that interests you and where you think that is missing in your toolbox as a Jetpack Compose developer. The only prerequisite for this course is really having watched my 50 minute Jetpack Compose crash course here on YouTube. But other than that, it really does not matter at all if you are a complete beginner in Jetpack Compose or if you're already using it in your day to day work. You will benefit from this masterclass. In section one, that will be about basic layouts and responsiveness. You will really learn about how to use the main layouts of Jetpack Compose in depth and how you can use them to build UI that is, that is naturally responsive. Most people who try to make their UI responsive uh, rather do that on a conditional basis to, to say something like, okay, if I'm on a phone, then show this UI. If I'm on a tablet, show this UI. But you will learn how you can really get the most out of the predefined layouts in Jetpack Compose and use them in a way that your UI becomes responsive without having any conditional logic, whether you're on a phone, on a tablet, at least in most of the cases. Sometimes that's necessary, but in most cases, actually not. The next section then dives into Jetpack Compose state management. So first of all, what state in Compose really is at its core. You will learn how you can correctly manage your state in your existing architecture. I'll talk about things like stateful composables versus stateless composables, which to use when, unidirectional data flow, state hoisting. You will learn about a state flow versus compose state, when to use what. So I will really give you a very clear structure on state management with a very practical example at the end of the section as well. Section three then deals with the more basic modifiers of Jetpack Compose. So things like that the modifier order matters, how you can use that to your advantage, things like spacings, window insets, interaction sources, focus management, and so on. 
And then from section four, things become a bit more advanced because that is about the measurements, advanced layouts and advanced modifiers. So that means you will learn in detail about the layout phase in Jetpack Compose. You will learn about constraints and how constraints are actually being propagated from modifier to modifier to composables in your Compose UI and how they are used by actual UI components on the screen to determine the actual size they end up having on your UI. You will learn about things like intrinsic measurements, about subcomposition, about creating custom layouts from scratch. You will learn about uh, creating custom subcompose layouts, even, even custom lazy layouts. So you will learn how you can uh, build this uh, custom lazy mind map layout that I share here. So kind of a, a mind map where you can place any type of composable and it's lazy loading. So only those visible texts in this example will be rendered on the screen and all others won't be just like the lazy column behavior, but in a custom layout. You learn how you can create custom modifiers. You learn about composable modifiers. You learn about modifier factories. Then in section five, we will deep dive into side effects and effect handlers. So you will be able to tell exactly how to deal with side effects in your Compose UI and to first of all spot these, but also why effect handlers like launched effect should usually be avoided. Section six will then dive into so-called composition locals. So what that even is, how we can create your own composition locals to share data between composable functions, normal versus static composition locals, and how you override existing composition local values. And then we'll dive into section seven, which is all about drawing on composables. So you learn about the draw phase, how we can draw on the compose canvas, the uh, draw related modifiers. You will learn about how you can draw with a cache and so on. Section eight then goes into material three theming. So on the one hand, how you can even create a solid color theme for your app, but also how you can actually take existing Figma mockups you might get from a designer and translate that into Material 3 colors. Because that's not so obvious for most people how that actually works. If the initial design that your designer gives you does not use those typical Material 3 UI components, but we still have to somehow assign these colors like background, surface, primary, so I will give you a clear strategy how you can find that out and translate the design colors into your material colors. And the same actually for the fonts. So you will learn how you can declare universal font styles and reuse these across your app. In section nine, you will then learn everything about animations in Jetpack Compose. So really about every single type of animation you could have in Jetpack Compose, like animating the appearance or disappearance of a composable, how you animate when certain UI components are being swapped out on the screen, about infinite animations, about animating list item changes, about low level animation APIs to build really customized uh, animations, about shared element transitions. And you can also learn how you can build really custom layout animations with look ahead layout, which I think most people also never heard about that this evening Exists. Section 10, which is also rather advanced, then deep dives into performance optimization. So that will really give you a complete toolbox how you can optimize the performance of any JPEG Compose UI. So you learn about how you can measure and debug performance issues in the first place, how you can optimize your images, how you can optimize your lazy columns, how you achieve a smooth scrolling in JPEG Compose, how you can optimize your coroutines, how you can use custom keys in order to optimize recompositions. You will learn about movable content, how you can reduce overdrawing, what that even is. Um, you will learn about different Deferring state reads. You will learn about baseline profiles, how you can um, just increase the performance of your startup time, how you can increase the performance of your scroll speed and uh, scroll, uh, how fluently your scrolls uh, gestures are. And lastly, something that I really never ever talked about anywhere, not on YouTube, not in any uh, premium course, that is Jetpack Compose internals. Of course, the Jetpack Compose internals could fill a whole course on their own. But in this last section, I will really dive into those internals of Jetpack Compose that have real practical relevance for you. So where you really benefit from knowing these in your day-to-day -day work. Because understanding such internals really helps you to expand your mental model to just think differently about certain things. Because I'm pretty sure it happened to you before that you got some kind of error message, some kind of crash log, some kind of stack trace, and you did not understand the error message because there were technical terms used in that error message that you did not know. And broadening your knowledge with this internal knowledge about a framework like Jetpack Compose just helps you so much to actually understand the actual signatures and uh, documentations of predefined functions in depth, as well as also what to do when things go wrong. So you learn about things like the Compose compiler, um, about composable groups. You learn about the three different phases of a frame in Jetpack Compose and how you can use that to your advantage to optimize recompositions. You learn about concepts like stability and immutability, about the Compose runtime and its underlying slot table mechanism. So how the actual data of composable functions is actually stored in memory. 
and you will learn about the snapshot system in Jetpack Compose. So how Compose really achieves that updates of Jetpack Compose state really notify all of the relevant composable functions. So you can see this course is full of content about Jetpack Compose. It's also very independent of native Android. Um, the exact same concept that you learn in this course also apply just like that to Compose multi-platform. So if that's a path you want to take, then you will also highly benefit from this course. But guys, what, what should I say? I think it's more than obvious that the direction and the industry is clearly heading towards Jetpack Compose. A big part of the industry already completely migrated to Compose, but more and more companies are doing that right now. So Jetpack Compose is really a skill that you can't afford not to have in future, at least if you want to do Android development for your career. And if you think about it, our UI code easily makes up 50% of any type of Android app. And if you don't properly learn what is needed in more than 50% of any app, then this will obviously have a direct impact on your career as an Android developer if the industry is shifting to Jetpack Compose, if that is just a technology you need in order to build Android apps in future. And exclusively for this launch week, until next Sunday, you can get this new course for a big early bird discount just as a thanks to all of those who get it right away. And with this new course, I also launched my new Android Starter Kit course bundle that gives you an even bigger discount on those four of my courses that are the most important for anyone who says they want to get started with serious Android development. This bundle includes the new Jetpack Compose Masterclass. It includes the Kotlin Coroutines and Flows Masterclass for asynchronous programming and reactive programming. And it includes the two courses from the Android Essentials bundle in which you will build a six screen running tracker app, which heavily focuses on architecture and just taking the knowledge from the other two courses Jetpack Compose Masterclass, Coroutines Masterclass, and how we can really use that to build a real scaling app. As usual for these courses, that's not a subscription. Uh, you just pay once and keep it. If you don't like it, you can get 100% of your money back within uh, 30 days after purchase. The link is down below. The discount will already be applied in checkout. Thanks so much for the support. Really happy learning with that course. Um, I really put so much work, so much effort in that to also share a lot of concepts, a lot of things about Compose that I never really talked about in YouTube. If you watch this course, then as I said, you will know the grammar of Jetpack Compose. And, and if you then encounter a new concept, a new UI component, then you will intuitively know how to use that and how to integrate it into your existing app while considering all those performance uh, architecture best practices that that uh, comes with. So happy learning. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you back in the next one on Wednesday. Have an amazing rest of your week. Bye bye.